canceled another one of my loans. Another loan? By God, it's time to can these silly antics. First the mobile wireless telephone, and then the miniature gramophone. What's next? Home you cinema? Just don't see a future in resealable bags. They want something they can twist. Something they can tie. Something that makes them feel alive. What is it? Look under my bed. Jiminy Cricket, what is this? It's my life's work. It's why your mother left me. It's called the Twisty Tie. Promise me you will make it. You need to sell it soon. You know we can only afford to live here for another few months. I won't let you down, Dad. I'll make you proud. I have an idea that will change your life. Something that will bring a fresh breath to the world. A toothbrush! Actually, it's a little bit more food related. Martha! I told you not to let in any more of these steak knife salesmen! No, sir, I... I'm a very busy, very important person. I don't have time for this. Leave! Alright. I'm just gonna keep this here twisty tie on your desk just in case you want it. Thank you for your time. I need something new. Something to seal a bag of bread with. Something bendy that never loses its shape. Should be cheap, less than a dime. No! Less than a penny. Should be good for the whole family. Good for the kiddies. On Christmas Day. Oh! Did you sell it? Um, I went to McCarthy's Bread Clips and I was- What? Don't you know McCarthy's the biggest swindler this side of the city? What are you talking about? I worked for him once. He took every penny from me. Well, at least he didn't get a prototype. <laughs> um, actually about that, I, uh, I left one there for him in case he reconsiders or something. Gosh darn it! Now we'll always be poor. The only way we can fix this is if we make more. McCarthy will have him in production by Monday. I won't let you down again, Father. Mr. Capone, there's a favor I'd like to call in. There's an old friend of mine who needs to go to the retirement home.
Step on off, folks. Christmas comes early this year. When you get this year, just it high. 30 cents or three dimes to you youngins for the, uh... <laughs> Can't be. What do you want, son? Mr. McCarthy? I'm not gonna let you get away with stealing my pappy's twisty tie. Don't you get it, son? Sit down! You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Jefferson! And I will not have it! You think of this invention as a mere invention, like the light bulb or the motor car. But this is more, much more. The whole world will change. You think of the world as divided. Winners, losers, states, nations. But there are no Germans, no French, no Egyptian. There is no East, there is no West. There is only one holistic system of people. One holistic system of systems. One vast, immane, interwoven, interacting, multivariant, multinational dominion of dollars. Petrodollars, electrodollars, breadclip dollars, Reichmarks, rhines, rubles, pounds, and shekels. You will atone, Mr. Jefferson. There is only money. I win, you lose. I drink. Your milkshake! I won't let you get away with this, McCarthy. Hey, Dad. How's it going? I went down to McCarthy's. It did not go well in the slightest. Are you even listening to me? Dad! Are you okay? Dad! Dad, wake up! Dad! No! Mr. McCarthy, I'm calling you out. What? Is old Pappy not here to help you? No. Because you killed him. Oh yeah. Then we shall duel tomorrow at high noon at Breadclip Manor. Winner will own the patent on the twisty tie. There's a deal. You shoot! What do you think this is? Some who nanny? This is America. Land of the free. A place where my great grandson can grow up to be president. A place where you are judged not for the color of your skin, but for the 
the contents of your person. Somewhere we're doing like this is illegal. Take them away, boys.